I'm going to my first game convention and I want to spend big. I'm trying to complete the Pokemon collection of my dreams with all of the vintage cards, games, consoles, and more. Over the last few weeks, I've saved up $4,000 in the Pokebank to spend at Southeast Game Exchange, and I have a list of some of the top items that I want to buy. I want to find as many of these items as possible without breaking the bank, but there's a problem. All of the combined items on this list cost way more than $4,000. And along the way, we're going to run into good old Retro Rick, Caleb, Riff, Pixel Game Squad, the boys. We might even seal a massive deal on Pokemon cards with Caleb, so I'm hoping that goes. We're talking thousands. Epic vintage cards. This is like a Pokemon Pursuit all in one collection. I know, man. It's, it's wild. I'm super excited. I don't even know where to begin, but we're going to take you guys with us. Usually garage sales are where a wild chase will be found, but I may have found my home. <laughs> Should we just kind of quickly peruse and target Pokemon? Yes. I need this one still for Pokemon. Yes. Shoot. Is it four? 400? 400. Is that really? Don't they go for now? Oh yeah. Jeez. I, that might be a deal if it's in, like minty, but I kind of want it complete. Like, I don't I, know if I should settle for loose. I, I feel like you should spend the extra 200 getting it complete. It's just, or hundred. eventually I, I want it that way. If we don't find it elsewhere though, this is gonna be on my mind. All right, so we've made a pretty good round, seen a lot of the booths, starting to get an idea of what's here. There's some heat, all sorts of amazing stuff. I've got very specific stuff that I'm targeting. I really want the Soul Silver and Heart Gold figure bundles. Uh, I doubt I'll see those, they're incredibly rare. But the Pokemon XD GameCube complete in box yes that would be crazy gosh there's some other the there's a lot of stuff man all the the, the pikachu 3ds xl the new 3ds xl in the complete in the box mm -hmm. that would be huge still haven't seen those yet we're gonna try to find them but there's some great people here i already met some great people so i'm, I'm just excited What's your name? Matthew Money. Matthew Money. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that blue is better. Oh, oh. Demo only, not for resale. Snap. Uh, 4,000. That says 4,000. I thought it said 400. I was about to buy it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe let's 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 ask if uh, hey, can you take off a zero? Matthew. Yes, sir. The Pokemon Snap. <laughs> yeah. That's something. Man. That's probably in the Blockbuster kiosk. For a second, I thought it said 400, and I was like, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Money, right? <laughs> like, holy cow. <laughs> All right. That's, that's, that's wild. That's awesome, man. There you go. This is this is one we need. This is a random one, but. And it's, I love that uh, stuff's gone up recently. All right. It has. Let's make a bundle. We need this one, too. Yeah, we need Guardian Signs? We need Guardian Signs, I guess. I'm surprised. OK. Yeah, what, what are you thinking? Right, let's see. 1655. I'll look you up. How about 80 bucks? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. I, I appreciate that. So wow. Good. Thank you so much. Yeah, no and of course, you already know. Come on. <laughs> retro, retro. What not for sure? Yes. So they follow you anywhere else? Uh, Instagram, Retro Raven Games, Facebook, Retro Raven Games, website, there we go. Retro Raven Games. So right there. Check us out. We're on What Not All the Time. Yes. Love it. I don't think you have this one. I don't know if you have that one. There's a lot for DS we're missing. Yeah. Guardian Signs looks like one we're missing. You do have Conquest. Um, no Trozy? No Trozy, that'd be a nice one. Rumble Blast? I think Maybe. I might have that. Art Academy? It seems a little high. <laughs> I'm trying to pull up the get, spreadsheet. You can't get it up? No. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to call Brother Dave. Okay. And have them send me pictures. Yeah. Okay. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Living the dream. First game convention for me, so. Oh man, good one to come to. Yeah, that's what I hear. Yeah. 
I'm excited. Uh, I don't know which ones I need yet, but if I bought like three or four Pokemon games, they have like a little tiny bit of room. I can budge a little bit. The Pokemon games. I don't expect much. Right. We'll, it's we'll, early. We'll, we'll, it depends on what you stack up. Week <clears throat> okay. It'll be the weird ones. Yeah, that's all me. The weird ones. I got, I got weird games, man. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Okay, well, we'll keep this in mind and we'll come back. We, we don't have any service here, so we're trying to get Brother Dave to send us pictures of our of our list so we can be sure we're getting what we don't have already in the collection. Really, What's your name? Uh, David. What's going on? David? Yeah, really, really like the show, man. Hey, thank you. Appreciate that. You're the one show I do like watch. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> What's your name? Charles Chapman. Charles. Good to meet you, brother. So we rolled up to this booth, and the guy running it was incredibly kind. He's a fan of the channel, and man, I really love getting to hang with him and talk with him, but he had these really cool vintage Pokemon packs, just the wrappers. They're marked at 40 bucks a piece for like sets of four. And I'm definitely intrigued on maybe how these could display in the Pokemon. Okay, so we just saw these vintage Pokemon pack wrappers. Now he's got them in bags of four for like, and he offered 25 bucks per bag. This is interesting because they can display beautifully. Part of the reason I want the vintage packs unopened is for the artwork. He's literally right here and I think I might make a play on it and we can get a super cool way to display them in the collection. It's a cheap way to get the artwork that I want and I can still target the packs. I don't think I'm gonna see them again for this price, so I'm gonna go pop on it. I think, I think I'm gonna do it on All the right. packs. All right, cool. So I secure a deal for $25 each. I'm super excited about it. And at the end of the video, we'll kind of lay those out and look closer at those plus everything else we get in today's video. But now, let's head back to the booth that had tons of Pokemon games. You said Art Academy, we do need this one. That's, that's CIB. Any chance you do 35 a piece on these? Oh gosh. Stack them up, we'll, we'll get a okay. deal. 35 a piece. Pokemon games are pretty hard to go down on. It, it makes sense. Because I had to pay up on them. Yeah. I need this too? I mean, yes. If you get the sealed game, I'll definitely I'll go down a bit, for sure. Okay. Just don't, you know, you should grade it and not open it, but you're home. Well, I wouldn't open it. <laughs> I wouldn't open it. He, he might. <laughs> you gotta watch out for this guy. Can we open it and then pay you for <laughs> <laughs> Would you just do five dollars off across the board if I got all four? Um let's see, 100, 140, uh, it's like 165. Oh you just call it 150. Close enough. Close enough. Close enough. Yeah. 150 it is. There you go. Art Academy, Mystery Dungeon Explores of Time, Ranger, and Romoblast. Somehow I didn't have any of these. And these are all complete. 150 bucks. Yeah. We also need this one. Do we really? Yes, we also need this one. I don't think I need this, but sticking with the even number theme, put us to 200 with that. I need 205. 205? Is this complete? Yeah, it looks good. It's it's, it's, it's got a little nick. I, like, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't it seen is. it for a couple of years for some reason. It is, it is randomly tough one to find. Yeah. 205? Yeah, and you get some free cases there, you know what I'm saying? That helps. I'll do, I'll do it, I'll do 205. Consider it done. Do you mean me at um, an extra 20 bucks? I think I'd be all in at, at that. All right, screw it. It's yours, man. You'll do it? Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right. Two. So we just picked up all this stuff from a booth and ran into uh, one of one of our friends now, Discord Nerd member. Nation, y'all. Nerd Nation on YouTube. Come on. Um, Most underrated channel on YouTube right here. For sure. For <laughs> Absolutely. sure. 100%. Uh -huh. Give this man, give this man. lots of Pokemon, I see. Yes. yes. So we spent, what did we get this for? 270. 270. Expo Hard to find complete. Yep. Uh, oh, okay. Art Academy. So we got five bucks off the top for all these? Five bucks off everything. Okay. I don't so, even know if those are good deals, but I needed them. They're super clean. Time, yeah. Everything 40, is from the same collection. Rumble Blast, Dash, Mystery Dungeon. Mystery Dungeon we did we paid full for. But it's a good buy. We, we need it. Lots of Pokemon. Let's but also, go. retro game rescue. The greatest game store in St. Louis. If you're within 200 miles. Retro Game Rescue, St. Louis. Of course. In, in Missouri. <laughs> Best in Missouri. Missouri. Yes. Possibly. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> so we've been walking around making a few other deals on stuff, and there are two things that are on the list that we absolutely need. Uh, yeah. Thane, see if you can get a I shot. I see it back behind those, the table. Uh, see that red box right there? Uh, yep, yep. Zoom. Enhancing. That's the enhancing one. Enhancing that red box right there. So that is the Yvetel Xerneas new 3DS XL. We have the blue one, we just got the regular that. regular 3DS XL. A regular 3DS. That is high on my list. Yes, but then also, 
There's the final the, Pikachu the, one. Yes. That's Which the, was literally on my top 10 items to find. The, yeah. Then that was the new 3DS XL. It looks super nice. What are, do we know what they're asking for it? It's got like 650 on it. Ooh, okay. So maybe, Which is, maybe we can make like a deal on the pair. Yeah, we do have a budget. <laughs> yes. So, and they've been working with us. Yeah. So we made some other deals at this booth previously, and they're really cool guys. I've been working. So let's 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 see. Let's come, check come, it come, out. Come, come, come. I want to I want to look at this and the other Pokemon one. Thank you. That is in great shape. It feels like it doesn't have a tray either. Oh, okay. That's a bummer. Yeah, you got. Which you already. You guys are loaded, man. Oh, is there other stuff? Okay, so that's boxing. Boxing console. Okay. I'll check this one out. So that one without the without anything. That I, I, yeah. I, I would I do want that one to be complete. a tray on this one though. Could potentially find that's clean. That's in really good shape. The that other tough clean. thing is the box on this is so nice. It is. I know, it's like, if it was just the box, we'd probably buy it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Can you be like 330 on this? Okay. Oh, it's, I don't think that's me. Are you doing Rick? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, it's great. I can charge more. 3.30, let's go. That was it. That Sick. Was yeah, I think that, that'll be it for me for this one. We, oh, we got a Gabo. Wild Gabo. Gabo sighting. What's up? What's going on? What'd you get? <laughs> I got a couple of things. It's for my baby. Somebody give oh, me a baby. Toy Story game. And I got Felix the Cat. Oh, for NES. Okay. That's a good start. Yeah, but man. Sadly, I think uh, for the Flintstones, it's not going to happen. It's too expensive. And shortly after this, we met up with a vendor and viewer who had messaged us previously and said, when we get to the convention, we've got to find him because he had some really special Pokemon items, and I'm excited. Woo! There it is. Had that one. Sweet mercy. That is beautiful. Okay. How'd you get this? I got that off of eBay a couple years ago. No great story from it. Uh, okay. Just, just found a good deal yep, on yep, it. Don't open it that way. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Don't, I've don't, had my eye on this for a while. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's in really good shape. And just, in a, just missing the little cardboard. It's super clean. Heck yeah. There it is. Yeah. Very, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Usually they're it's all got, scratched up. I know, yeah, it's got the paperwork, a little bit of that, but. Beautiful. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. How are you liking it so far here? It's been yeah. good. Yeah, it's been good. Good. I mean, it's all new to me. Yeah, I would say this is different. Your, yours but was. You can still get good deals here. It's, it's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yours was gonna be my first convention. Yeah. I couldn't come. But... Yeah, I know. We're, we're still gonna get you out. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll also, also be able to play with Pine now. Okay. Okay. And so we're four partners at the uh, game table, and he said, okay. hey, you have, like, <laughs> Where did this come from? All right. All right, so this is on my top 10 list for Pokemon Pursuit items to find. My boy Ty. Yes. Has sure. it. 500 bucks? 500 bucks, yep. I'm in. Done deal. <laughs> That's a done deal. Awesome. Dude, I appreciate, appreciate it. it, man. Absolutely. Seriously, thank you. No problem at all. That's it. And then there's one other thing that's even more special than this even higher on my list that he has was going to bring it left it at home and it's all right <laughs> it's all right but the glory of editing you guys are going to get to see it right after this because he's going to ship it to me and i can't wait to see it and here we are back in the pokemon collection room and this is the pokemon heart gold walmart exclusive figure bundle incredibly rare i got it for 900 bucks. Now this has the ho -Oh figure and the Poke Walker jacket, plus a fully complete inbox version of the game inside. It's been on the top of my list for a long time, and shout out to Ty for shipping it to me. 
good deal at 900 bucks. Knew this thing goes for like 2000 plus. This is used and complete, and the value is very speculative, but I feel great about adding it to the collection for $900. And uh, I'm not exactly sure where to put it because this shelf still needs to be painted. Upgrading the Pokemon room as you can see. Check out this. This looks so beautiful. It's got these little things so stuff doesn't stick to it and I love that. Maybe I'll just put it there for now. <laughs> yeah. But we're not even close to done yet because we still get to meet up with Phoenix Resale to talk about buying some vintage Pokemon cards. I'm hoping to seal a deal because eventually I want to get every single uh, Pokemon set from Wizards of the Coast displayed on the ceiling, on the walls, and mounts like this. These are our mounts, these are PSA mounts that we actually have on our website, CatabyCrew.com. They're beautiful, people love them that have bought them. And you can also do them as stands as well. So that's, I love it, it gives a lot of versatili versatility for how to display them. I'm super excited at a hopeful deal. He says the condition of the cards is pretty insane. I'll be the judge of that. Okay, so this deal has been potentially in the works for a while. Yeah, almost a month. Yes. So Caleb is here and brought the goods. You brought me some goods. Now this is like vintage Pokemon cards. And yes, it, but it's not, it's not vintage condition. I'll let you be the judge of that. You can go okay. ahead and take a peek. Uh, like a great salesman, I have exactly what I paid right here on this sheet. <laughs> So that should, uh, that should be helpful for you in the negotiation. <laughs> okay. uh, but looks like we also have a very nice little uh, summary of everything that's in here. So as a Pokemon guy, you can tell me what you're seeing in terms of condition. Okay, well, my first thought is to start with some of the key cards. Yep. These are gonna be ones that always have the most wear. Yeah. What do you think? I, so when I was looking at it, I can see some scratching on the mm -hmm. hollow. That's the biggest thing. But then like, especially the back, I thought looked really nice. Ah, uh, there's some whiting there. So maybe in card world, not quite as minty as I was thinking, but I also, when I was going through, I didn't see any like big creases or scuffs or like yep. super visible imperfections. So I think overall the condition's pretty solid. But what are you seeing? I'm curious what you would guess, what you would guess this would grade. Mm -hmm. You've never graded anything yet. I've graded two cards. I remember the Mewtwo? Yeah, Mewtwo and, and, Charizard. and, and uh, Shadowless Charizard. Yep. Uh, and they were like four and five. I would say those are a little bit better than that. So like this one, I would say maybe a six. Spot on. Mm. Spot on, I, I completely agree. Phoenix Pokemon channel yeah. coming soon. <laughs> that's, that's a good guess. All right, Dark Blastoise, this one looks better. Just first impression to me. It's a little better. So I, like this, I would guess like a seven. What like range would you have to be at like to justify grading? Are you looking for only nines and tens? For vintage, I would consider eights on key cards, but that would be my minimum. Yeah. Are these all in, so this is Team Rocket set, complete yep. set. Yep, so you got 83 out of 82, and then we start the next one. And this is... is gym, gym Challenge, gym right? Gym Challenge? It's okay, so we, Gym, uh, gym Heroes gym is here too. Gym Heroes, then Gym Challenge. Okay. I love this set. This set is... It really brings me back. So the Gym Heroes and the Gym Challenge are the two that I do not have complete. Okay, so, so this is the big binder for you. That's what drew the attention. Yeah. And my hope is that I could buy them at a price where I can almost get, by selling the rest, those two sets yeah, yeah, as part yeah. of the Pursuit collection. That makes sense. So. Well, you'll have to let me know what your estimation is of like total value total resale value after fees and stuff. Ooh, that's a nice one. There it is. I love the art on that. This is a glorious card. so many card. sick Charizard arts back in the day. They still do, but. Okay, this Ooh, one, this I one's like pretty that. good, man. What do you think on that I'm, one? I am seeing some scuffing on the hollow. Yep. Um, so I would say, I don't know, maybe an eight. I would say eight is best case. Okay. But that's that's the first one I think is possible. Okay. They 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 give a heavy weight to scratching mm -hmm. on the hollows. That's what I've come How to. How many discover. cards have you graded? Hundreds. I don't know. I've done a lot. Yeah. But my guess my guessing has gotten closer at the more that I've I've gained experience. Yeah, for a little bit more experience than my two cards. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> okay, that was a glorious binder right there. Okay. There we go. And here we've got the good old base set. Do we need it? You want to rotate this? Yeah. Well, Sorry, we totally disregarded to your orders. Oh my gosh. There you go. 
They set Charizard. They face Charizard. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> I love how the seller organized these, like all the hollows in the front. And this, these are the proper binders, for those that don't know. The side-loading binders yeah. with no rings to get dents on the cards. So that's good. Yeah. No, these are not top loader. That would be nice. All right, so now we got jungle. This is like a Pokemon Pursuit all in one collection. <laughs> I know, man. It's it's so wild. Because were these all like the earliest sets? Yeah, like pretty you, much you without got exception. Base, jungle, fossil, base set two. Those are the first four. Yeah. And then yeah, all seven of the first seven sets. Oh, this one brings me back. But actually, oh, both is. of these promos really bring me back. Yes. I Ancient love that. Mew. That's glorious. Did this come with the Pokemon First movie? Movie. I think that's right. Or was it in theaters? Like, I got that as a kid. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. I love it. Cool Porygon. You know what this came with? What? This was with the Pokemon Stadium Big Box N64. Oh, wow. Have you seen that, that Is console? Is that a valuable card? It's not that valuable because they found thousands that never got packaged oh, with okay. the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's better than the one that I have in my system. Too so. much supply. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Gosh, there's like all the promos though. Yeah. I, I, I'm missing a lot of these. This, so potentially that. a good bit of this getting split up and staying with you. Yes, absolutely. How many of these, so for a set like that that you're taking a few cards, like are, would the rest, would you try to sell it as an incomplete set or just do singles? I've, I've, I don't know. I mean, the, the way to maximize is selling them as a complete set for sure. Um, this is, oh yeah, this is, what is that? Generations. Yeah, so this is where we get into the modern stuff. I do love the textured full arts though. I'm kind of yes. a sucker for that. It's pretty nice. But nothing super. All right, so tell me like, what do you estimate the overall value, market value of this might be? <clears throat> Got some secret rares back here. Let's see, so base set is usually about 800 bucks. Jungle's usually about 500. Fossil five, three to 500. Base set two. From memory, Oops. like sitting next to a computer. <laughs> this one is harder to complete than base set one. Base set two is like way less common. Okay. But it doesn't get the respect in the market because it's base set two. Yeah. But probably 700 on that. So I didn't do the math there, 13. Was that like 3,000? 2,500 on these. 20, okay. And then Team Rocket, another six, it's 31, Gym Hero. Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge are probably like seven, 800. But that's like for like really nice condition across the board, which these are probably what I would say, what I would consider lightly played as opposed to near mint. Yeah. So like maybe 42-ish? Yes. 42, and then if you add in the rest, it's probably like, yeah, push 4,500 before fees would be my guess. Huh. Really? So so only like a few hundred or so in this last binder? Yeah, I mean the the Dragon Ball. What about set? this page? That look that looks kinda shiny. That's pretty neat. People like the shine. People do. Dragon Bolt. I got yes, back to the Southern Pokemon Islands cards. in there too, so Yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe 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 closer to five thousand. Closer to five with those. I mean, that's my guess. Yeah. Quick math. All right, so what, what, you know what I paid because I left it on there, <laughs> 3,500 for everything. What would you like to be at now that you've seen the condition? <laughs> that's a good question. I mean, I'd like you to make money, but I'd also like it to be as cheap as possible. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Two businessmen right here, all right. I'll tell you what. So I originally had thought four thousand. You hooked me up big time yesterday, though. So what would you say to thirty-eight hundred? So I'm making like nine percent, but hopefully you have some room to maybe get a couple sets for free. I'm good with that. Good with that. Appreciate that, man. Thanks, brother. And exactly like Caleb said, that's what I'm gonna do is add a couple of these sets to the collection, including. Gym Heroes, Gym Challenge, and Base Set 2. Those were the three that I did not already have complete from here. I'm gonna sell off the rest to get back that 3,800 and probably a little bit more. 
uh, after fees. So hit me up if you're interested in the complete sets, but I'm very, very excited to add these three key sets to the collection. And those Pokemon packs, we got to give you a quick shot of those because they are glorious. Um, let me know how you would display them in your game room if you had the same situation. I want to get creative with how we display these. And I'm super excited to also add all of these games to the collection. I think we're very close to completing the DS and 3DS set and maybe even the Game Boy set, so I'm beyond excited. And this is one of the last GameCube variants that I needed. I don't have room for it here, so we might display this also in the Pokemon room. Pokemon Pursuit. The deal is done. Subscribe. Do what the man says, subscribe, because in the next few videos, I go absolutely crazy at Southeast Game Exchange, my first game convention, and I'm so excited for you guys to see them.